guys, welcome back to my channel, Ms. Crochet and Coffee here, and today is the day. Now, I've been teasing you guys and teasing you guys all week about there being a new craft added to the channel this week. Now, the new craft will only be introduced maybe once or twice a week, and then I'll end up incorporating it in with the rest of my videos. Don't worry, I'm not giving up diamond painting. I have way too many of them at this point. Like, I'm actually finally building a stash. I have more than seven diamond paintings. So, I will not be giving up diamond painting. But I did find another activity for those times where... I don't know if a lot of you are like me, but after a while you kind of get bored of doing the same thing over and over again. Which is why I found diamond painting, because I got tired of crocheting so much. So, like, my, my brain gets bored, and then I'm like, I need something else to do besides sit here. And I wanted something that's going to be a little bit more portable. Something I can do, say, in the car, as long as it's not too bumpy. So, what you've all been waiting for. What is this secret craft? Now, this secret craft is something I just randomly found. Decided I was going to give it a try. I didn't care. It said it was for kids. And then they had, like, an adult version. Like, kind of like the adult coloring books. And I was like, well, I like the color, but having all those freaking crowns and color pencils and pencil sharpeners, that's, that's a whole hot mess. That, that's just, no, no, no. I have enough crafts with a lot of pieces. I want something that I can just sit on my couch and lay back, relax, and work on it. So, the new craft is scratch art. Now, a lot of you did, or actually a couple of you guessed that it was scratch art, and I purposely ignored your comments. My bad. I was trying to surprise you guys. Um, in our live chats uh, Friday evening, a couple of people did mention scratch art, and I didn't say anything. I purposely ignored their comments because I didn't want to give it away. So, yes, scratch art is the new craft being added to the channel. When you see the craft art, you will either hear relaxing meditation type music or it will be a drill with me. So today's is going to be a drill with me. Uh, just a short one, nothing too long. I just want to introduce you guys to it, show you what I've learned. Um, I actually have another book coming. This one is Mandalas for Meditation, Scratch Off Night Arts. And as you can see on the front cover here, this is exactly what it looks like. You get it and the Mandelas are grayed out. And then when you scratch the gray off, it turns into a color for Mandela. And you can take these out of here. You can frame them. You can give them as gifts. I have been enjoying myself this last week just working on them. And what I like about it is that you have to slow down and take your time. I rush through a lot of things. I rush through diamond paintings. I rush through crochet projects. I rush through a lot of things because there's never enough time in the day, folks. Let's just face it. There's never enough time in the day. This is one of those things that makes me actually slow down and pay attention. It also helps jog my mind because I'm constantly thinking of things that I need to figure out while I'm working on it. And because my brain works just as fast as my mouth does, I needed an activity that was going to slow me down a bit. So I can curl up on the couch and work on this. I can take it into my bed and work on this. I can take it into the car, which I have done every day this week. I can go, you know pick up my kids from school and while I'm waiting I can work on this which is what I've been doing I can sit on the couch with my husband and watch a movie I can you know essentially I can I can do just about anything with this and I like it because it's portable and it comes with everything you need so let's get into it let me show you essentially what I've been working on not it like I said you have to take your time with it and I'm gonna show you why so when you open the front cover you get your introductory page now this thing I like about this is where you open that like this, this opens up like this. Each page has its own piece of paper. And the first thing I thought when I saw that was, oh, sweet, I can keep that paper and maybe possibly use it for my diamond painting because it feels like parchment paper. Um, so what I've been working on this week is this one. Now, I haven't completed it, but as you can see, from the parts I have scratched off, you can see the blue-green uh, varinated look it has it, it goes in from a bright blue varinated green and then back out to a blue and then back up here like up top here into a green 
Uh, the middle of it is green. I'm not sure. I'm guessing it's going to be blue and green in here because I scratched off just a little bit there and it shows some blue and greens in there. Now, all the pictures are not as detailed as this one, but they do give you some really cool designs. So let's go through it. Here's another one I started. And they all, from what I can tell, are different colors. And so this one looks to be a red, orange, yellow varination. And essentially, you only scratch off the gray. Now, this is like, uh, puts me in mind of scratch-off tickets. If you're, if you're one of those who love scratch-off tickets, you'll love this. Minus, you don't just, you, you don't just pull coins out of your pocket and start scratching at this, okay? You, no. Because if you scratch this black part on this, around it, it will, it will scratch off. So like on this first one I did, I wanted to see if it did and I wrote my name just to see if it would. And yes, so you have to be very careful when you're scratching this to not scratch off the black part. So you want to essentially trace those lines as good as possible. Now, when I got this, it came with a little pencil, which I'm going to start a mandala with you guys today. I just had it marking the page I wanted to work on. It comes with this little pencil. It's a little piece of wood. It's like somebody whittled a pencil out of wood. Now, I did order uh, the kit. There's a kit you can get off Amazon and everything. I'll have a whole unboxing for that one. I didn't unbox this one because I wanted it to be a surprise. And I wasn't about to sit there and let it sit in the envelope for a week. So... I unboxed this one and I worked on it a little bit just to see if it was going to be something I liked. Because if it wasn't going to be something I liked, obviously I'm not going to show it to you guys. But I absolutely fell in love with it because I can just sit here for hours and do this. Um, now this book only cost me, I want to say, I had a, actually had a gift card. So it cost me six bucks. But I think it's only like $10, and they have dragons, and they have landmarks, which is the other one I, I ordered, which should be in tomorrow. Um, they have landmarks, they have dragons, they have flowers, they have the Mandelas. You can get these actually on prettyneatcreative.com. They come in like the huge like poster board type for you to hang up, and those are a lot more colorful than the ones you're going to find in the books here. Um, from what I been told you can also find these books at michael's i'm not sure about joann's or anything like that again folks i don't have any of that near me that's like a two to three hour drive for me and i ain't about that life moving forward so these designs as you can see look how pretty they are these designs are all like very intricate detailed designs so essentially what you do is you pick one you want to work on and then you just scratch it. We're going to scratch just a little bit of this one. See what color it brings up. And where I, it, it's one of those crafts. It, it does make a little bit of a mess, but not too much of a mess. Like not anything drastic of a mess. So we're going to just scratch this part off here. And essentially you just scratch it real carefully. And what I've been doing until my kit comes in, I just get a napkin and wipe away the dust. And as you can see, you have a really pretty cool heart there. And I'll bring that up so you guys can see it. How cool is that? And I'm not one usually to go with the crowd on stuff. Uh, a lot of YouTubers are inter introducing new crafts and I wanted something that's going to be different something I hadn't seen before something I've been interested to try and just I just never took that leap and for some reason it wasn't fear it wasn't anything like that it's just I had so many crafts I was like I don't I need another craft like I need a hole in the head okay but it's a very inexpensive craft and for 10 bucks you get 36 different mandalas and we're going to go through and check out a couple of them here uh, they, like I said, they all are different colors. Like you saw that last one was turning green. Um, so essentially I want to make this like a mindful Monday. Mindful Monday being, I'll talk about some struggles I've had with my own depression because I do know that a lot of, uh, a lot of people nowadays are suffering from depression or anxiety and PTSD and stuff like that. And I am not 
one that isn't. I have a very bubbly attitude. I'm very positive 90% of the time. But there are those 10% of the times that things get real dark for me. And I listen and do meditation. I do all, I, I will try anything to calm those demons that I have in my head. And this is one of those things where I can zone out and listen to myself and go, okay, I'm over-exaggerating this. This doesn't need to be pushed so far. Essentially, I get more out of this than I, I actually have to give in because I'm getting clarity in my head because a lot of you probably know about how your head gets filled with all kinds of things you have to do, things you've done, things that you know are bothering you. And you just want to escape it all, which is why we turn to crafts, because crafts help us escape. It quiets those voices in our heads. Or for some of us, uh, yeah, there's no quieting those voices. Either way, I, again, will just, when I work on these, it's going to be on Mondays. And I'm going to start calling it Mindful Monday, where I will talk about my own struggles with depression and everything. Open up to you guys a little bit about what I struggle with. Uh, I won't go into like gory details or anything like that, don't worry, but just kind of something for you to sit back and listen and maybe think about it for your own life. Maybe something that I'm going through is something that you're also encountering because if nothing else I've learned with my channel is a lot of us are going through the same struggles and don't know it. A lot of people don't talk about their struggles because it's too hard and I used to be at a point like that and then... I don't know, one day it just stopped and I could talk about it openly and it didn't bother me anymore. So if I can help somebody else out by explaining some of the stuff I've learned about my own struggles, that would be wonderful. So that's why I have something like this because then I don't have to worry about color changes or missing a stitch or, you know, missing this or that. I can just work within the lines. Now, if you color outside of the lines on this, you don't really have to worry about it too much. Because it's okay to make mistakes. We all make mistakes. And where you make mistakes in here, it still reveals something beautiful on, underneath. So that's the reason why I chose this craft as the new craft to introduce to the channel. So let's look at a couple more of these. I'm going to stick my pencil thing in there. And like I, get, like I said, I do have more tools coming. And the cool thing is, this little pencil actually has its own little slot in the back here. And you just, when you're done... You just put it back in there. It has an easy little thing for you to stick your finger in to get it back out. Comes out real easy. But that's where it stays. And then when you go to close your book, everything's compact. So say you want to go, you need to go to the doctors, or you got to go to the store, you got to go do this or that. Or you, somewhere where you're going to be waiting. This is easily portable. Like, you can take this with you with no problems. Do you have to worry about that pencil falling out of there? Eh, not usually. I've been taking it everywhere with me for the last week, and... I think it fell out once in the car, which I was able to find it, obviously, because I still have it. Um, so it's something that's easy to be easily portable. You can take this with you when you're waiting for your kids, when you're waiting on the doctor's office. Like, I, I absolutely love it. So let's look at a couple more of these real quick before we get started. Um, I was just in, in awe over all the designs on this Mandela Nightscapes. And again, you can find these on Amazon. They're not expensive. Um, I just, I absolutely love them. The detail in them. I mean, that is insane. And just imagine scratching all that off and revealing that beautiful color underneath. And yes, I know I'm colorblind. Stop minding my business. Find some business and mind it. I can still enjoy colors. I can still see colors. I just can't see them correctly. Either way. So yeah, I, I, I love the designs and stuff in this book. I mean, stuff like this, that is going to be insane. And it's not something that I can do quickly. I can't rush through it. So I'm pretty excited. And again, it only cost me like 10 bucks, six with my uh, gift card. The landscapes one, I think only cost me like seven. But again, that video is for another day. So we're going to get started on this one. And... That's the other thing, too, is you can fold it back. Fold that cover back. Oh, if you can. Okay, okay. Get, get, get your life together, Alicia. What you doing? All right, there we go. Boom. Oh, and see, there you go. See, I scratched it a little bit. And you can see that there's going to be some orange in there. The scratch is right there, people. It's right there. 
So you gotta be careful not to like lay this on anything too much. I'm gonna actually take that out because I don't like how it bumps up like that. But uh, so the only real little tool you need is this. I of course went all out and bought like the rest of the tool kit and stuff. Just because a lot of these have a lot of intricate little lines like here. So I want to make sure that I am able to do it. And I'm pretty sure you can probably do it with this if you have like a very steady hand and can get in there. But I don't have a steady hand, so yeah. Let's see if we can zoom you in a little bit here. There we go. I'm gonna straighten you up. What are you doing? Straighten up. So we're gonna start from the center here. So we're just gonna trace this line here. And again, it's kind of like a scratch off ticket. You just scratch the lines. And then when you get the shavings, you just kind of brush them away. It's kind of like pencil shavings almost. It's not too bad. And you won't find shavings on your butt or anything like you do with diamond painting. So you just can scratch the lines to reveal that color underneath. So while I'm working on this, I hope you guys had a good weekend. My weekend was awesome. And what I like to do is essentially I'm tracing around where I need to scrape to get the rest of that color out. Helps me keep inside the line. Like I said, if you make a mistake, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. And because my channel, I would like to think, is all about peace and tranquility and having some laughs and having a good time, I figure what a better way than to find a craft that is relaxing like this one. So, yes, this is the new craft I will be introducing onto the channel. That is an air freshener. <laughs> At this point, if you guys don't know what that is, you're probably new which I did notice a spike in subscribers, and I just wanna say hello. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. I am Miss Crochet and Coffee, if you haven't already guessed or and or heard. Um, how did you guys find me is a question I've always been wondering. Because like I know a lot of the times when I find new channels, I'm just randomly searching. And I find a new channel and I'm like, oh, I'll watch a couple of videos and maybe the first couple of videos aren't their best work or it's just not my cup of tea, I should say. And then I go, I'm not going to watch them. And then I'll move on to another channel. But then something will bring me back to the channel and then I'll watch it again. Like, uh, I'm not even going to lie. When I, I watched one video of Ella's. Like right when I right before I started diamond painting, I watched a video of Ella from Kicking Cancer's Butt in Diamond Painting, and she wasn't my cup of tea. And I was just like, I don't, I don't think I can get down with this. And then after watching a couple of other channels, I realized, okay, let me try this again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try her again, because everybody keeps mentioning her, so maybe I just caught like a, you know, a bad video or whatever. So I went ahead and watched a few more of her videos. Now I'm hooked. I love Ella. And it's kind of one of those trial and error things. You try it once, you might not like it. Try it again later on, and it might be your cup of tea. For those of you who aren't new, you know what that sound is. For those of you who are new, I am a oil-filled wife, and I'm also a stay-at-home mom. And being a stay-at-home mom means I get to stay home with my puppy dogs. And I have a Siberian Husky and a German Shepherd. And the German Shepherd is the one you hear fussing right now. I'm not sure why she's barking because there's nobody outside. But to her, there's danger afoot. So if you're one of those people that don't like noises in your videos, unfortunately. Because I'm not going to put my dogs outside to record hour-long videos. Uh, you... Yeah, you'll hear mooing like that from Daisy. Killian, he's pretty quiet. He doesn't really 
bark or anything unless he wants to play. Daisy, on the other hand, is very vocal. Which is funny because you would think the husky would be vocal, but he is when his dad's around. For the most part, he's quiet. He doesn't really bark or anything like that. And as, as you see, as I'm scratching the stuff away, I'm also wiping it to make sure that I scratched off the correct parts. Because you don't want to sit there and scratch off the middle of that circle because it's not supposed to be scratched off. I mean, you can if you want to. But if you're trying to follow the design, you don't want to scratch it off. And there's just something about it that's just so relaxing. So, again, hopefully you guys had a great weekend. I did notice the jump in subscribers, so that's why I asked, you know, how did you guys find me? Now, you can't obviously answer me because I can't hear you. So, don't say it out loud. Like, put it down in the comments or something. Sitting there talking to yourself. Like, I can hear you. I can't hear you. So, if I ask a question, you got to put it down in the comments. So, now... Kind of feel like I'm tattooing. Like, have you ever seen or been to a tattoo shop and you see them, like, etching the tattoo into the skin? And they will do a small piece and then wipe the ink away to make sure that it's set. That's what I feel like I'm doing. And, like I said, I have a toolkit for this coming and it comes with, like, a little brush. Kind of looks like a makeup brush that you use to scratch or to wipe away all the the excess from around it. And as you can see, it's not really making a huge mess or anything. Like, it's just something about it that is just so relaxing. And again, you don't want to rush through it. You want to take your time. Crafts are meant to be enjoyable. They're not supposed to be full of drama. They're not supposed to be full of anguish. You're not supposed to be like, oh, I don't want to work on this today. You know, even if you don't want to work on it, take a break. I take a break between each project that I do, or at least I try to. Sometimes I fail miserably because I get so excited to start new things. But you got to take a break between projects. Give your body time to heal and rest because these projects that we work on, where they're great for our mind, they're not always great for our body. Because you end up like straining your head or neck muscles looking over at a table or on an easel, which yes, I could easily work this up on my easel as well. And I will be pulling that out here soon because Mr. Coffee wants to work on his diamond painting and he keeps hinting that he wants my table. Why he won't just go buy a freaking table, I don't know. He just, just, he just won't let me be great, folks. He won't let me be great. So I might just order him another table today because I don't understand why he needs my table. All right, and there you have it. We have the middle section already completed. So now we're just gonna work these finer lines on the outside here. But yeah, this weekend, I got to spend some time with the kids. I actually played Fortnite for like 10 minutes with my son. I can't, I couldn't take it. He kept stealing all my loot. And I was like, yeah, I'm done with that. And then I watched Mickey Mouse Clubhouse with Maggie. Because when Maggie asks you to watch Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, you don't just say no. Maggie seems to be doing a lot better on the new medicine. And as you can see, that line is a lot thicker than it's supposed to be, and that's because I went a little bit outside the lines. And again, that's okay. It's like thinking out of the box. Except for with scratch art. <laughs> so yeah, so 
I got to watch cartoons and stuff with Maggie and play a few games with Orion and Mr. Coffee was kind of in and out all weekend. I think I've seen him twice this past week. So I'm hoping this week I see him a little bit more, but one of the guys he works with actually took vacation. So I might not be seeing him more. Or I, will, I might not be seeing him as much as I have been. Because they've been picking up. And I would think with wintertime being here, they would actually slow down. No, they slow down more in the summertime than they do in the winter. And even though I've only been here a few months, I can already tell and make that guesstimation is that they do slow down a lot more in the summer than they do the winter. But then again, the wind is a lot worse in the winter so far than it has been in the summer. Which, of course, in the summer, you're not going to care about the wind because it's so nice to have that cool breeze. And no, I'm no expert at this at all. So we're kind of learning this together. And for those people who like to paint or draw, this would be a great craft. And like I said, I don't have a steady hand, so you'll see a lot of mistakes in this. And that's okay, because it's not about making it perfect. It's about making it yours. Art isn't about perfection. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Remember that. And that even goes for when you're diamond painting. I always tell people, do you? It's probably one of my more fav famous, infamous taglines. Do you, boo-boo. Because what might make one happy might not make all of us happy. Some people like to paint. Some people like to diamond paint. Some people like to draw. And just because somebody likes something that you don't necessarily like doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong or they're not allowed to like it. It just means that that's their cup of tea and you have your cup of tea. Or in my case, cup of coffee. Because I love my coffee. Scratch these little circles. And that's why I also bought the tool kit because it has more intricate, detailed, uh, angled uh, tools. So what do you guys think so far? Now, am I telling you to go run out and get one of these? No, not at all. I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you have two tons of diamond paintings, three tons of yarn. Like, you're probably like, I'm not getting into another craft. Yeah, I said the same thing. Look at me now. Either way. You don't necessarily have to do what I do. You could just sit back and listen like a lot of people do. You don't even have to do this craft. You could be doing other crafts. I had a lady message me last night. She was knitting while listening to the live. And yes, that was a long live. But it was so much fun. And I had somebody say, well, why did you stay on for so long? Well, folks, I was going to hit the six hour mark. But I figured, you know, these people have lives that they need to get back to. And where I was waiting on my husband to get back home, I'm like, some of these people just need to go to sleep. Some of these people were work waking up and coming into the live. <laughs> like, they went to bed as I started and woke up and came into the live. So I was like, I should probably go ahead and end this. But I think I might have said that like 500 times within that time frame that we were live. But when you have Diamond Art Club come into your live, when you have Diamond Painting by Donnie, everything, Gwenny, Gone Off My Meds, Redneck Beauty, and you're having fun with friends, you don't just stop a live. <laughs> you keep going, silly. So as you can see, I got that middle section done. And that took a couple minutes. And 
this is in real time. Uh, there will be times where I do this over like soft music and it'll be a time lapse and you'll essentially just watch me as I uncover all the color around it, which how cool is that going to be? But for today, I figured I'd do a short just introduction and talk about my weekend. Now, I said I wanted to do a crochet along and I think we're going to do a waffle scarf like a waffle stitch scarf because it's really easy and I don't really need a pattern for that because I have a pattern in my head. So for all of those of you who like to crochet, I'm going to designate a day and we will do a crochet along and we will make I'll show you how to make a waffle scarf. And in that time, you can ask me any kind of question you want to ask about crocheting. You can't ask me questions about my job, unfortunately. I can't reveal what's going to be in the next issue of the magazine or anything. But you can ask me questions about stitches or, you know, ask me to show you a particular stitch that you're having trouble with. And if I have a free minute and a free ball of yarn, I will be more than happy to do that for you. So yeah, so the crochet along, I'm not sure exactly when I will be getting to that. Probably either later this week or next week. And then those lives will be about an hour or so long. I'm not going to make them too long. Because I did have, I, I do randomly get people that will ask me, do I know what's patterns are coming out in the next edition of the magazine that I work for and I'm like I can't tell you that you have to wait to buy it so yeah so this weekend I played with the kids we ate out well I should say we ordered in not ate out because I didn't leave the house but the doggies got to play with some of their doggy friends at the dog park. So that was fun. And my friend Elise, which I do have a friend. Her name is Elise. Uh, she's also a streamer. She's not on YouTube, though. She's on Twitch. She streams video games. So she, of course, gets along with me and Mr. Coffee, which is nice. I don't think she's married, though, because I've only ever seen her. I've never seen, like, a boyfriend or anything. But she has a Siberian Husky German Shepherd mix named Sona. And Sona likes to come play with the doggies. And then she has a friend, I think his name is Luis. And he has the same kind of pup as her, and it's white. Her pup is white too. And they like to come hang out with us at the dog park. So that their dogs can get acclimated to other dogs, especially bigger dogs. And since my dogs are very well behaved most of the time. Uh, they usually ask that I come out with Daisy and Killian. And we go play at the park. Alright, so I got that middle section done. And this is turning out so cool. But I want to get to these little ones. That's here, that's where things are going to get a little bit more difficult. Because it's so small. But that's okay. So are you hearing the dogs playing in their crates? Yes, my dogs have crates. Oh gosh, alert the police. I know some people don't like dogs being crated, but in order to keep the stuff in my house from being destroyed, they get crated. Now, it's not like you think. It's not like they get crated overnight or anything. No, no, no. They get put into their crates, and that's what, they're, that's what we call bed. So if we tell them to go to bed, that's where they go. What we do is we close the doors on it, and they think they're locked in. They're not. And there's been times where they've gotten out in the middle of the night to go get a drink of water. And then they'll go back into the crate. 
it's just a safe, secure place for them to go so that they don't hurt themselves or tear up anything in the house. Now, if we have to leave the house for a long period of time, yes, they will get locked up in the crate. And then we have somebody come in and walk them every few hours. Because they're big dogs. They can't be locked in a crate for like that for hours. Especially not a German Shepherd because they're known for getting hip dysplasia. So you don't want to have them locked up. And this pencil, if you can see, it's just kind of sharpened like an actual pencil. It's not anything spectacular or fancy. Just a piece of wood. And it doesn't hurt my hand, but I work on this maybe 10 minutes at a time and then I'm done. So. Well, usually when I'm waiting for my kids at the bus stop, or not the bus stop, when I'm waiting for them at school, I'll sit in the car and do it. And it's nice to be able to sit in the car and listen to music and do it. Obviously, I can't take a diamond painting into the car and work on it, so. So, yeah. And then I also decided how I wanted to do my lineup for this week. Because um, it looks like I have a few paintings coming in this week. And my mermaid tail pins should be here next week. So for those of you who are curious about the mermaid tail pins, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the multi-placer mermaid tail pins that I've been selling. And I did decide that I'm only going to do, unless it's specially ordered, I'm only doing the multi-placer, so it'll be three, six, nine, and then a straightener, which looks like this one where it just has the straightener on the end of it for you to straighten your diamonds. But those pens should be in next week. Obviously, it takes them a while to get here from China. So they'll be here next week. But until then, I have my scratch art. So what do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Okay, don't don't comment. Or don't don't talk to me like I can hear you. You gotta you gotta write it down in the comments. I thought this was pretty cool, so I decided, you know what? I'm gonna give this a try. And I'm actually doing a lot better on this one than I did on that first one I started. Let me just tell you it's a hot mess. And I always had an obsession with those little dollar scratch-off tickets. Like, something about scratching the scratch-off off of the piece of cardboard to reveal, like, your prize or whatever. Like, always is something I love. But I hate buying the stupid lottery tickets. So, I was like, oh, look at this. I can scratch off this. I don't have to worry about, like... Oh, you didn't lose. Well, that one was perfect. So I think I'm going to time lapse you guys for a little bit here until I finish this circle. What do you think? Again, I can't hear you. Don't answer me. Y'all keep answering like I can hear you. I can't hear you. All right, so... Let's get ready for that time lapse, shall we? Let's go.
there you have it. Again, it's scratch art. To me, it is very relaxing. I absolutely love it. I love the colors. I love watching it come together. Um, like I said, this might not be your cup of tea. Then you're probably thinking, well, I don't have a steady hand for that. Well, yeah, neither do I, but I'm doing it. <laughs> Either way. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And again, welcome to all my new subscribers. Hopefully you're enjoying the channel. This is just my introduction of a new craft onto the channel because that's why they call it crafting with Miss Crochet and Coffee. Because I do all kinds of crafts. And I would like to learn a new craft every once in a while. So this is the one I'm choosing for them. And if you're watching, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below of how you found my channel. Because I always find, again, I always find it fascinating to figure out how I'm found on YouTube. Especially since I never thought I'd get to almost 800. I thought I'd have maybe 100. And I've met so many incredible people on this platform. So, like, I would like to know how everybody found me. Whether it be from Wendy from Gone Off My Meds, because I know she shouted my name out a few times. Thank you, uh, Gone Off My Meds. She's awesome. Or it been another YouTuber, because, you know, like I said, I've met quite a few people here, and I try to make my page as fun as possible. Also very helpful, if I can. And of course, you can't please everyone, so, you know, I understand that. Again, some of the things I do might not be your cup of tea, and that's just fine. doesn't necessarily have to be your cup of tea. You can sit back and listen, and if you come to a live, you can just come and sit and watch and listen and work on your craft while I work on mine. Whatever it happens to be that day. I mean, because just like my videos, crafting for me, I like to keep random. You got to keep changing things up. You don't want to get bored doing the same thing over and over again. Also, have you ever tried scratch art before? Again, you're going to comment down in the comment section because you saying yes or no or shaking your head, I can't see or hear you. So that means nothing to me. So write it down in the comments. Have you ever tried scratch art? If you have, please feel free to come over to our page. It's Crafters Anonymous with Miss Crochet and Coffee. Coffee? Sorry, my language is a little woozy today. But we'd love to have you there. You just have to answer two simple questions to get in. And if you've tried before and you were denied, it's probably because you didn't answer the two questions. Answer the questions, people. I gotta make sure you're not a robot or you're not gonna like try to promote other channels or anything on my, cha my page. So you gotta answer the two questions to get in, folks. So if you've tried this before, please feel free to show us a picture on the crafters page. We'd love to see it. The crafters page is for all crafts, no matter if you think, you know, nobody else is going to like it or not. Hey, you never know. You, you don't know how much alike you are with somebody until you expose things that you like or dislike and see if they like it too. So, don't be shy. Show us what you're working on. Especially knitted projects, because I can't knit, and I would like to see knitted projects. I always like seeing knitted projects, and I'm like, I could totally do that. But like I told the lady I talked to last night, the last time I tried knitting, I stabbed myself in the foot with the knitting needle. So, there went that career choice. Um, so yeah. But I think that's it for me, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this very odd, weird craft introduction. 
Again, comment down below. How did you find my channel? Because then if it was a shout out, I do like to, you know, thank those people for shouting me out. So. But I'm going to let you guys go. And I'm going to continue to work on this a little bit. Because I'm having a lot of fun. So. That's it for me, folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you did it, well, give it a thumbs down. I don't give a crap at this point. Don't forget to comment down below. How did you find me? And are you enjoying the channel? And have you ever tried scratch art? I find it to be very relaxing. It might not be your cup of tea. It's my cup of coffee. That's fine. We're allowed to disagree. Let's agree to disagree here, okay? Either way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber for more fun videos. Funner than this one. Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of fun here. And I do try to go live at least two or three times a week so that you guys can ask me questions about any and everything. Again, I will be doing a crochet along and we're going to make a waffle scarf as our first project. So if that's something that you're interested in, also comment down below, uh, you know, a yes or a no. I'd love to join in with a crochet along because we could have a lot of fun with that. So, again, I'm Miss Crochet and Coffee. I hope you enjoyed my fun new craft scratch art. And, again, I will link my book down below so that if you are interested in trying it out for yourself, you can go ahead and give it a try. It's very easy. It, all it takes is you tracing some lines and revealing color. Either way, that's it for me, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.